Apparently, but you know we're live, so stop talking about me being naked. Are we on? We're on. Oh, I we're, think on. we're on. I think we're oh. on. Billy, it's on. I'm on. Okay, you're on. Go, Steve? What's, where are we? What's happening? What's going on? What are we doing? Uh, all right, Billy, what uh, SNS song, what song do you never want to play again? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a, is that a real question? Yeah, Seriously? you're doing a private chat on the right. She's putting all the what questions. What song do I never want to play again? <laughs> That's a good question. I have to go through the uh, list. <laughs> like, we have like over 100 that songs to choose from. Is the list of songs you don't want to play that long, Billy? Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't, there's, there's no song I don't want to play. I mean, I'll play anything. That's not pay true. Me, you pay me, I'll play anything. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting paid? You're getting paid? Yeah. I'll play anything. Um, Billy's, getting, Billy's getting paid. I don't know about everybody else. I was thinking you're maybe getting... one of the uh one of the like uh you know the sh the what are the little songs that we play on at, at uh, the conventions, you know. Like uh you know costume, the... co costume contest? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're talking about those kind of, that's not that's I don't nice. know. Those are yeah. songs. Those are fun. I I like costume contests. Yeah, I like that one. It's one yeah, of my I favorites. Do. I love the lyrics to it. All right, Steve, how are your kitties? Um, they're good. Uh, they're floating around here somewhere. I don't know where, but they're somewhere. If I shake a bag of treats, they'll show up. Smiley Michelle says, I'd like to know what song makes them balter like no one is watching when they hear it. What is balter? I have to Google. I have to Google Balter. Hold up, hold up. I'm looking it up. You looking up Balter? That they must be from another country. No, it's Smiley no. Michelle. Balter. I don't know. Smiley. Wanna vomit? Wanna vomit? Balter oh. wanna vomit. Wow. Okay. Oh. Is this a? Is this, yeah. So, like, what song makes them wanna vomit? Like, no one is watching. Okay. I'll vomit when people are watching. I have no problem vomiting when people are watching. Um, I have a hard time vomiting. Yeah. You, know, you can't vomit on demand, Mike? I, I can't. I can't vomit on demand. What makes me vomit is champagne. I hate the taste of champagne. Well, there you go. You really? can vomit on, you know, on demand. Just After take a little champagne. champagne. Yeah. 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 I think we could do that. Not right now, right? I love no, that. No, I love that even in uh, the virtual panel, we've already been asked about the cat. I know. How long did that? How long did that take? That didn't Not take long. long at all. Which like one our, is that, Norton? That's lucky. Oh, that was that's the first. The yeah, first this is the brood. this is the OG. Yeah. Any me, any special meaning? Jim? Any special meaning of the dates? Uh, Any special meaning of the dates? I think they're birthdays, right? There's, I think those are our birthdays, at least. Are they? Yeah, I think so. Is mine on there? I don't know. I have. To, I'm not going to take off my turn, shirt. Turn around. Just turn around, Mike. Let me take a look at it real up close. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there, right. Rob's turning around. Okay, Rob, scroll up. January fifteenth. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't me. Oh, yeah. December 30th is on there. September 21st. Hey. 
Where's Where's Rob's? I didn't see. September twenty first is on there. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's the second to last one. I haven't oh. looked at the dates. I think is yours on there, Mike. I think June fifteen is on there. Yeah, I think they are. I think they're all. I think they're all. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm January fourteenth, guys. Just so you know. Um, oh, oh man, that's an error. <laughs> Someone's getting fired. No, it's all good. Someone's gonna get canned. I you're fired. <laughs> Secretly, I wished I was born on the fifteenth, so it worked out. I don't know um, why. But. Are you guys getting restless to get back out on the road? Yeah, very much so. Just to play together again. I just yeah. it yeah. sucks that we can't play together. It's very hard. Uh, we even uh, tried to play uh, at, like like we are right now, but there's a lag time, so we can't we can't do it. It's really hard to watch. <laughs> it's like pavement can't caress. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> hard to do. Hard to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Makes makes Mike want to drink champagne. Yep. Oh boy, who's asking these questions? If, if today was your last day, what would you do? Jesus. <laughs> well, so, uh. funny, funny you should say that. It is my last day. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to stage it. So, you know, I'm it's here. So uplifting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all been fired. We've all been fired from the band at one point, right? Uh, I mean, Rob, that's Rob, not, you're, that's the, not you're, true. you're the new rock lead singer on the, the, the ad that Rob didn't oh, know. Oh, yeah. That was so weird. Um, you know, it didn't look like Rob at all. Yeah, I got fired last week. That's a, that's a buddy of mine. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, I mean, Shepard was going to join the band at one point, right? Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm always fired. So after every show. <laughs> what habits have you formed that you want to continue post lockdown? God, Drinking absolutely not. Absolutely none. <laughs> um, if I can, if I continue all my habits post lockdown, I'm going to be dead in a month. What well, what is what has been your habit that's going to kill you? Besides, like too drinking? much drinking. Too, yeah, drinking. too much, too much drinking, too much edibles, too much, <laughs> too much, too much everything. Yeah, I've been writing a lot of songs. I want to keep that habit. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of piano. I want to keep that habit. So, um, Billy, what's your favorite thing to do during quarantine? Amy P Pollock wants to know. Um, I'm here. Uh, I'm in front of my computer. I like just creating and, and writing and recording and, and so, you know, much as yourself. I've just been spending a lot of time doing that. You know, it's kind of forced me to kind of, well, I actually prefer this kind of method of working anyway, where it's just like, you know, me in front of a computer and seeing what happens. So um, that's been uh, what I've been doing is just playing and practicing my face off, you know? So hopefully yeah. I'll be better by the next time we do a show. Yeah. Um, what is your drink of choice during quarantine, Mike? Mike, good time. Funny, good opportunity. Funny, funny you should ask. Cause I did, I did, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a tea. Out. I, 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 did, I, did drink, I did drink my alcohol yesterday afternoon. So. Uh, in the middle of the day during a meeting, just took a couple of shots of when you need a drink in quarantine, try uh, some Papo J's. Yeah. That has been the drink of choice because I don't have to leave the house because <laughs> I have boxes and boxes of it. So Papo J's. There you that's go. Vodka. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Norton for that little plug. Yeah. So uh, that's, that has that's been, been the, check later. So I've been doing a lot of uh, cocktail mixing, mixing that with, Orange juice, lemonade, ginger beer, anything you could think of. Wow. Chocolate pudding. Yeah. And I don't... Pudding? Think, pudding, yeah. <laughs> Is Papa yeah, Jay's going to uh, pay us for this free ad? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll make sure to send a dollar to each of you. <laughs> uh, Nina Ferrero wants to know, how did you learn your instruments? Were you self-taught? I, I had lessons. Up. Yeah, I had lessons. I had a lot, a lot, a lot of lessons. 
Yeah, I had um, the only instrument I was formally taught was the piano. Everything else was self-taught. Yeah, I, I was self-taught on piano, but I was but I was formally taught on drums. I um, just picked up the guitar and just started playing it. It was, I think, it had four strings on it, and I just had to make do until I figured out how to a pack of strings and put them on. And, um, yeah, I I took a couple lessons later on, but that was just it. Did, it really wasn't for me. I felt like it was, um, I don't know, too confined. You know, yeah. too like, I don't know. I I I like the 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 natural organic way of playing as opposed to like having to be taught and and yeah. you know I'll I'll discover it on my my own I guess. Yeah, I became I became the bass player by default when we first formed the band. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, I just just decided I well I got to go buy a bass now. So. Hey, I've got something. So uh, our mutual friend, Mike, and my mutual friend, Todd Rushi, oh. recently sent me, he, he went to teach, he's teaching his son guitar, and he has this guitar book that I gave him 20 years ago, and it's like all about guitar chords and that kind of thing. And inside are lyrics of some of our first songs, me and you and Dave, like That's Green Norton, Loud and Swain. It's, That's funny. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. Yeah, it's it. funny. It's funny you bring that up, Rob, because I was cleaning out some of my stuff here, and I found some of those first lyrics too, as well. Yeah, you had it all typed out. And you had to. Yeah, I had it typed out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll have to. I'm gonna scan those and send those to you. Yeah, I'll send. I'll send what I've got to you. Um, all right. Gailey wants to know what are you binge watching right now. Shania and I just, I just started finished, uh, binge Glee. watching Unorthodox on. Uh, oh Netflix. yeah, great! Loved. How was that? So good, so good. So and it's yeah. just four episodes. So it goes yeah. Oh wow! It's a quick okay. binge. Yeah. Yeah. Cindy, my, Cindy said that there's a like after show, Unorthodox after show, where they talk about the show. Yeah, I saw there was like a making of documentary. Yeah. After on Netflix. She says that's pretty quick too. It's like a twenty minute. Yeah. Twenty minute watch. I'm I'm in season four of Bosch. Right oh, now. cool! Yeah, what season are you in, Rob? Four, I think four. You're four, okay. So I just started it. So oh, cool! I can't wait, I can't wait to see you. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Uh, there's a game right. show on. There's a game show on Netflix. Uh, or it's like not a game show. It's a uh, where these couples, not couples, but these people go on this island and they have to refrain yeah. from having sex. Yes. And I, too, too, too hot to handle. Shit out. Too hot, too too hot, to, too handle. hot to handle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, how, I, how I, is I it? binged the shit out of that, man. Is, I it, is, it, is it good? <laughs> really really no, up in the awful. really up and up in the IQ points there. It was awful. <laughs> it, you can never listen. make fun of me for watching Bachelor ever again. Oh. Well, yeah. I'm too hot to handle. I watched that, uh, that love is is it love is blind is that the love one is blind is good oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, too. that is so good I can't wait for season two so <laughs> twisted and how little money these people play for it's like seventy five hundred bucks at the end of the day you're like wow that was really I, I had a new I had a new respect for you Rob for watching The Bachelor after watching those shows I really but, do I might have yeah, to start watching The Bachelor because of that thank you thank you. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? Um, Rob, how much is <laughs> Did you read that one, Rob? Rob, how much does Rich annoy you during your podcast? Oh, so much. So much. Can't even. I need therapy. <laughs> um, it's not, it's not so much annoys me. It's just, yeah, he abuses me. Yeah. Um, that's no different than real life. Though, no, it's probably. exactly. And what's great about the podcast is it shows people what I have to go through, what it's like being friends with him, mm -hmm. how painful it really is. Uh, Rob, for the monologue you did, what made you Patrick Bateman? Um, I um, they gave you this long list of monologues, and I, right away I was like, oh my god, I want to do that one. I just think I love that book and that movie, and I think that character is terrifying. So that made me want to do it. What was that? You see that dragon question? If y'all could turn into dragons, 
what would y'all like and who would win in a fight? What would y'all look like? I'd look uh, like a dragon. I'd look yeah, like, I'd like a, a dragon. dragon. Yeah. I'd look yeah like I think if we were dragon. Drag if the four of us were dragons, I'd say... I got a dragon, huh? Me? Watch this. Oh! <laughs> you know, Mike would look like a dragon with 13 guys behind him. <laughs> well, would you look like the Game of Thrones, like dragon, like the blue ice dragon? Yeah. Wait, I think Mike, I think Puff, your... huh? I think there, there should be a show with Puff the Magic Dragon and the Blue Ice Dragon from Game of Thrones. It should be like a little companion yeah. show. <laughs> <where like, laughs> Puff tries to teach him sensitivities, you right, know. Right. <laughs> and and he and the the Ice Dragon tries to make Puff a killer. Yeah, there, you <laughs> yeah, totally. there you go. It's another Netflix and, show. And, and Puff just tries to sell the other dragon drugs all the time. <laughs> Hey, Mike, is that what yeah. you wore on the cover of the Suit and Tie album? No. Oh, that was, uh, that was some Native American headdress that we found in somebody's cubicle when we it were was in doing the office. that photo shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, Tia Five Tone wants to know, if you could choose any superpower, what superpower would you choose? Oh, invisibility. I, I'd want flight. I'd want invisibility. That's creepy, Mike. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. Well, That's very it. creepy, dude. No, no, no. I would use it for... Yeah. You guys, you Mike, guys Mike just hanging out. Mike just lurking in the gap-changing room. And you guys, what a creeper. I, want, I would want to teleport. <laughs> <laughs> teleport would be good. I wish I wish I could rewind time. Yeah. Mm. Well, yes and no. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if you just cut your arm off and be like, "Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, rewind," you know, comes back. Let's not do that. In the most recent episode of, of Rick and Morty, he they developed this thing where you could basically, like a video game, you can save your spot and go back to that uh. spot. <laughs> But if you play to the next spot, you can't go back to the two spots before. You can only go back to what you right. stage to, you know. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. It was hilarious. So yeah, like life would be like a video game where you could, re yeah, you could restart your mission. Right. <laughs> we could do that at Saturday night special for Mike. When you mess totally. up in a song, we could go back to the beginning. And go back right yeah. back in time, or I just no one ever knew. Or I just I just disappear. You know, <laughs> turn into mm. a dragon. Uh, turn into a dragon. No play. lives left. And Plays the right key the next time. And visibility, you know. <laughs> yeah. So much in my head. How do you, B page 27 wants to know, how do you stay motivated when you start to get burned out? That's a good question. That's a very good question. Great question. Find something else to stimulate, you know? It's yeah. like, even if it's not music or if it's, you know, hey, too hot to handle. That gets my, go <laughs> gets my juices flowing. Yeah. Um, just find something, you know? I've been exercise. biking a lot. Exercise, yeah, working out. Yeah, try to take a break. Mm -hmm. give, you, give your mind a rest for a little bit. Come oh, back to it. Hey, I've got a question for everybody who's watching us right now. Where are you from? Where are people, where are you watching this from in the world? I'll go first. Los Angeles. Phoenix. Oh. Los Angeles. Mike. Los Angeles. You're in Alhambra. Sweden. <laughs> Yonkers, hey. New York, Rhode Island, Germany, Vegas, Ohio. Netherlands, Ohio, <clears throat> Russia. Wow. Germany, wow. Florida, wow. Ireland, wow. Texas, wow. Belgium, wow. Belgium, Germany, Denmark, England. Wow. Whoa. Netherlands. Whoa. Vegas. I saw Las Vegas in there. London from New Jersey. Melbourne. New Jersey. I saw I saw Melbourne. Me Melbourne I saw is up. 
Melbourne is up early, man. It's like 4 a.m. over there. Nova Scotia, St. Louis. What up, St. Louis? UK, Sweden. That's fantastic. Denmark. Wow. Washington State, New York. Jeez. Ireland. Jeez. That's Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Salzburg. That's not Perth, you guys. Some, somebody, said not, California. somebody said not Perth. What about not, Perth? We have not Perth. Perth. Anyone from Perth? Not Perth. Perth. Manitoba. That's awesome, you guys. That's so cool. That's amazing. That is that really amazing. Me. It's 4.37 a.m. in Australia. Yeah. Wow. Early, early, early. That's awesome, guys. Thank you for joining us. Um, who are your musical inspirations? Ashley Huber wants to know. For me, I saw someone was asking before the show about Prince, and I've been listening a lot to that new Prince station on Sirius. Have you listened to that, Steve? I haven't, actually. So good. Um, and yeah. He, he was such an influence for me because, you know, so many, of his, so many of his songs are very rock. I mean, he was totally. r mm -hmm. and he was rock, and he was all those things. Yeah. I just have been loving loving on that lately. It's funny you bring that up, Rob. I was watching the, um, I think it was the Benefit, where it was a yeah. whole production for uh, George Harrison. Yeah. Yep. Where, they, where he played that guitar solo uh, for my, While My Guitar Gently, guitar weeps. gently weeps. Yeah. And he just throws the guitar out and he just walks right off the stage and everybody else is, is still playing. Petty's yeah, just petty. looking around and he's like, what is going on here? Yeah. yeah well, when, you know, when we played Purple Rain and Billy found that live version of that that we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we emulated. It's just so, yeah. I mean, live, he was so good. Mm -hmm. I watched yeah. recently um, the Bruce Springsteen Western Stars on HBO, which was... Oh, was yeah? Oh, so good. So good. Is that, is that his one-man play, or is that... No, it was done in his barn on his property. He just had this barn, and he just built this yeah. stage in there, oh. and it was uh, kind of just talking, telling the stories on the songs and whatnot. It was on his new, off his new album, but so good, man. Wait, so have good. you guys... I'm sorry, buddy. Have you, have you guys watched the Beastie Boys documentary? Not yet. No, I have to watch that. Oh, you so gotta good. watch it. It's really good. Really good. Really good. I just started watching... Um, uh, REM by MTV, and it's basically a series of MTV or live interviews of REM from the beginning to to the time that they stopped playing together as a band. Wow! Wow! Yeah, you got to check that out. Very cool. Because Billy's a big REM fan. <laughs> where do you uh, Where do you see that, Mike? It's on. Um, whatever that is, oh, yeah. a few years mm -hmm. back. So it's free if you subscribe to that. And I've just continually subscribed to that over the since he gave that to me as a gift. Oh, cool. And I watch like Queen and Petty documentaries. Uh, but what I you, what, you, what are you, you shelling out for that, for Quello? I can't remember. Set it up, you know. Yeah. So much money. Well, it's all that liquor money I'm making. Right? <laughs> yeah. At Papa Joe's. That is right, Papa man. Papa Joe's paying for that. <laughs> what is the Barry Gibb comments they keep making? Who? What are the Barry Gibb comments? Do you see that, Steve? Yeah, look alike or lockdown strikes again. Oh, they're saying that I look like Barry Gibb. You need a really? beard. Yeah, the beard. I'm, I'm miss I shaved the beard, so. You still look like Ellen to me, a little bit. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> you look like a bucket of shit. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, hey, wow. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Can we kick them out? <laughs> no, People from around it's, the it's, world it's, are watching this. It's, it's the joke, for, it's the joke from, uh, from History of the World. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sire, you look like the piss boy, and you look like a bucket of shit. <laughs> All right, we'll allow it. <laughs> Herself says, asks, do you have any advice for coming up with melodies or lyrics? How do you know what works and what doesn't? Well, there's really no, I mean, 
there are no rules of what works and what doesn't. What works is what you come up with. And um, yeah, you just kind of got to go with your heart. And you think about like with melodies, I always think like I listen to the radio and I turn it off and I think about what song I'd like to hear come up next. Like what's a melody I like, I would like that I would be excited to hear, I guess. And uh, yeah, just follow whatever your inspiration is, I guess. Yeah, well, um, it's a trial and error. Yeah. How many guitars do you have, Billy? Um, I think like 15 at the moment. 15. That's nice. Are all 15 um, behind you, Bill? No, no, no. No, there's a couple locked away in a safe place. Um, yeah. But no, about 15. And they keep adding, keep adding them. Yeah. Any updates on the new album? Well, we are doing the best we can to write, to, to trade ideas back and forth. And uh, we've got some new songs that we're very excited about. Um, yeah, we're working on demos, kind of been sending parts back and forth. So I think when quarantine's over, we'll be ready to record it for real, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, that's the fun part. It's like finding, the, finding out where we want to do that and you know putting the team together to do that and but uh getting the demos pretty much ironed out is 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 the real is a fun part too is you know we yeah. get to kind of explore these new songs for the first time yeah as a group it's harder because obviously ideally as this band we love being in the room together you know and i feel like So it's like that kind of stuff I miss, um, and yeah. I can't wait to get back to that. But this will this will suffice uh, for now. Um, but yeah, those are my favorite moments. You know, is when we're all in the room and suddenly the sparks start to happen. Right, right. That's why yeah. you haven't been responding to my songs I'm sending. <laughs> For me, it's like if I'm going to be doing stuff, like it won't be inspired, right? It has right. to be a moment that you're, it's like when I was talking about earlier, it's like when I'm in front of my studio and my, my computer, once something comes in, it's like that one you sent me that first time. Once I, to you on that, but once I got in front of it, then the creative juices started to flow and it started to happen. Whereas mm -hmm. when we're together in, in, the, in the room, Sometimes it'll take you or or Steve or Mike to kind of help instill that inspiration for you to get more. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So I don't want to force anything when it comes to those songs. So I'm letting yeah. kind of they're gonna they're gonna happen when they do. Um, yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna be it's gonna do it a disservice. Yeah. And yeah. That's I mean that, that's, that's what I miss I, about our, our 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 old routine is that I would yeah. send you guys demos. I'd rarely get a response. But then we get in a room together. And I'm like, and it's, it's done. And yeah, all these you get everyone yeah. would have yeah. ideas. Yeah, I feel yeah. like that's how that's how letter happened too, as well. Right. right. Mm -hmm. you, yep. you sent it. You sent a demo, and all of us were like, it, you, there wasn't that immediate response. But when we got in there, I mean, we ended up <laughs> figuring out the whole song and then playing it later that weekend. Right. Yeah, we got more done in that hour and a half. You know, it, it's that's right. the stuff that yeah. You know, well, yeah. we'll get there soon enough. Yeah, yeah I, 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 yeah, I truly miss that, especially with with Norton, where it's it's hard for me to come up with the bass lines when I depend right. on him to kind of lead me with the hits, you know. So yeah, and a lot of that time, a lot of that stuff is is hashed out in the room. You're like, hey, mm -hmm. place your bass yep. here, or place your kick drum here. Exactly, it changes everything. Although you're yeah. locked in, you're. Your your baseline is being defined by Norton's drum. Exactly. You know? yep. So, yeah, it's a lot like this. Like the three of us have ideas, and Steve's reading texts. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we would be playing in uh, the rehearsal room in my old house, and Steve would be texting on the drums, right? Or eating a subway sandwich. Yeah. My favorite is when he would be eating a Subway sandwich. 
<laughs> like, bro, bro, you want to get into it? <laughs> it's funny because that hasn't really changed because you'll see him during like Jared and Jensen's panel. He'll be yep. eating in and out, you know. Yeah. His, his double double, you know, just firing away. In the moment. In the moment. It's a talent, Norton. It's a talent. Norton, can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> well, his fan's still moving, so he's not frozen. <laughs> he's pretending to be frozen. I love the frozen. Good uh, frozen J- Jamie Good and Claire one asks, "How did you choose Pop Tart Heart for placement in Supernatural?" Um, that was all. That was all, Richard. I was. I was about to be Richard about it and be like, "Well, we decided that." Now that was all. <laughs> uh, actually, I well, I. I actually called Rich and I was like, hey, do you think there'd be any place for a Loud and Swain song in this episode? And uh, and he's like, I like that idea. Let me think about it. And then he's like, how about Pop Tart Heart when you're in the the uh, that you know Radio Shack? Uh, and uh, I was like, great. So you know, I I basically got it with Richard. What you have to do is you have to like you just have to steer his his focus. He's an extremely focused guy, but he tends to focus one direction. So you just have to go like, "Hey, how about this?" And if he and if he looks and he focuses, he'll he'll get it done. Um, so I kind of like I, I threw the the nugget of an idea, and then he he chose Pop Tart Heart. You know the best the best question that just popped by a couple minutes ago was, uh, "What annoys you most about each other?" Hmm. That was great. I think Brit- I think Brittany specifically <laughs> didn't choose that question. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, let's, let's get let, into it. <laughs> oh, let's great. Let, Here we go. Let's, the let's, let, Brit- yeah. let's let Brittany handle the questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh, good one, Brittany. What do you miss about conventions, guys? <laughs> <laughs> How annoying Steve gets. No, I'm just <laughs> um, I miss it. Yeah. No, um... What do I miss most? Um, I miss Saturday Night Special. That's that's the one thing I really miss. Um, yep. Yeah. I really do miss that. And, and uh, sound checks. Sound checks are always really fun. <laughs> yeah, they are. I don't miss sound check. I um not not Saturday Night Special sound check. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sound check in the morning. Sound yeah, check morning, morning sound check. Sound check has become kind of that r- in the room, kind of working on new songs if we have time. You know, yeah. which has always been fun. It's like a, yeah, it's yeah. a f- no. I I hate Saturday Night Special sound check. Oh, that was the worst. Yeah. <laughs> but in the morning, it was just the four of us, and nobody's there, and we're like, all right, what do we have this weekend? What do we need to work on? Mm-hmm. You know, coming up with stuff in the moment that we're gonna play. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, those, those are good. Yeah, dig those. Um, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't certainly miss the traveling, but I do miss the traveling at the same time, right? So it's like, yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a double-edged sword, you know. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's see. What's the most memorable concert we have attended? Elisa Ribbons wants to know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Radiohead for me. Radiohead at the Hollywood Bowl. Me too. I was going to say the same thing, Rob. The In Rainbows. Show? No, you you saw the In Rainbows. Yeah, I saw and, that. Yeah, um, I I saw uh, OK Computer or Hail to the Thief at the Bowl. At the Bowl. Norton, were you with me at the Radiohead show at the Greek? Yes. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. My favorite yeah. probably would probably be the, the Damien Rice show. That one was great, too. Yeah. Yeah. That was a um, good one. yeah. Yeah, for me, it was probably Rage Against the Machine at the Roxy. Um, mm-hmm. That was pretty ridiculous. I think one of my favorite spur of the moment concert going experiences was when we were in Melbourne that one year. Oh yeah, that like, was great. Hey, Green Day's in town. Let's go see Green Day. That was great. Tickets and went to go see Green Day. Yeah. That night. With Amy Gumenick's husband. Yeah. Rob, that was you great. Had, Rob had something. You had like I had photo. to work. Yeah. yeah. I had freaking uh, yeah, karaoke or something, right? And then, and yeah. yeah. And then we saw Green Day Green on Day. 
Yeah. Yeah. Krista wants to know what the least memorable concert we've ever done. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you mine. I know mine right off the top. Smashing Pumpkin. I fell asleep during Smashing Pumpkin. Really? Oh, Steve. Yeah, and, and and I wasn't even drunk. They they just stood there on stage. I was I was so bored. I was so wow. so bored. Mine was uh, mine was, and, and it sucks because I love their I love their albums, but like, but yeah, I didn't love them live. Mine mine was Van Halen. When did I went with you, Norton? Oh yeah, that was yeah, Our, that was pretty mediocre too. David David Lee Roth was basically spoken word with the with the lyrics. Yeah, especially yeah, you with couldn't Trump. he Trump couldn't find a hard. pitch to save his life. Yeah. yeah, dude couldn't find a key to save his life. Um, my I don't, I don't know who the least. Memorable was um, when I was oh I saw I saw Billy Joel when I was in college that wasn't great he forgot the words to um, we didn't start the fire oh God <laughs> now I of all people should not be <laughs> what a jerk huh I know <laughs> need to have a have an iPad on stage with you. Yeah. And that song is, yeah. and I mean, that song's brutally fast, though, too. It's like, you know, it's just yeah. like. Did he stop it wasn't, the song? It wasn't just that. It just wasn't a very inspired show. I sure. Guess. Yeah, I've heard that about his shows is that he's he's not necessarily like the most engaging performer. Right. Um, so there's a lot of people asking for uh, Kings of Khan. When you're going to watch the next, when you're going to see Kings of Khan again. I really don't know. I don't know. We're working on it. We're working on it. In the meantime, we got the podcast to work out, work out our uh, Kings of Con energy. But we are working on something. Um, if you Moose Smoosart wants to know if you could open for any musical artist, who would you choose and why? Who do you think would be a good artist for Loud and Swain to open up for? It'd be super fun to open up for the Foo Fighters. That would be. Yeah, awesome. I was yeah, thinking. Yeah. Really good. I was thinking Wilco would be fun to open up for them. Yeah, I think Pearl Jam, Foo Fighters. Yeah, I think a lot of those Seattle bands um, yep. would have been a great. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, so Norton, here's a question for you. Sarah <laughs> Stoglund wants to know what's your favorite Whitey's ice cream flavor. Ooh. Well, I always get I always get the two scoops together. It's chocolate peanut butter revel and moose tracks in the same cup. Moose tracks, and huh? Yeah, what? and if I'm if, if I'm if I'm getting a shake, it's pumpkin. So Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I'll just there say in go. general, my favorite flavors of anything sweet are peanut butter, pretzel, chocolate, coffee. If there was a pretzel, chocolate, coffee, peanut butter shake, that's what I'd have. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna message Whitey's and have them getting on that. All right. They're gonna they're gonna do a Rob Benedict. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna do an oh my chuck, oh my chuck, uh Great. an oh nice. my chuck flavor. It's also gonna be it. it's gonna be known as the colon blow. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey Rob, uh, I don't think you're right for the marketing department. <laughs> <laughs> we love your energy, but uh, but you're just not the right fit, buddy. <laughs> I I love when you I love that when you order the the Whitey's ice cream in Chicago, that it's it's all put in the the refrigerator backstage in the green room, but we all time it in such a way that we don't have just an, an enormous stomach ache on stage after. Yeah, day. too many people are lactose intolerant. That's oh. the problem. Um, <laughs> someone keeps asking, what is our favorite song to play? Um, what's your favorite loud and swaying song to play? To me, it, it always changes. Um, yeah, it's never the same. Yeah. yeah. For I me, mean, certainly. The, go ahead, Bill. I was going to say, um, I mean, obviously the, the, the go-tos are the ones that we have those very special moments on stage where mm -hmm. the lights are, are being raised and stuff. I mean, she waits and amazing. Those are all really fun to play because you're kind of, we've played it so many times that it's not like it's repetitive, but it's, it's becomes a point where you're able to kind of just let yourself go a bit and enjoy the moment. Um, because we're so, uh, we're so familiar with the song. So we're actually able to, 
um, not only perform the song, but more embrace what's happening uh, among the audience. So I think that's a, that's a special one for me. She waits and, and amazing. For me, it's a uh, reunion. I think that's a song that really, that I really love playing. Um, and with a meaning behind it too, as well as why I love playing that song. And after we finished playing that song, I was like, Oh, it just feels so good to play that song, especially at the end. We're just all jamming out and really loud and in your face. It's one of my favorite songs to play. That's cool. Yeah. I'd have to go with wave. I think for me right now, but like, but like, but like you said, it, it shifts all the time. Right. So when we're doing new songs, then all of a sudden, like a new song, like something like letter or, you know, or, uh, basement of no hope will all of a sudden become right. the favorite, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> my 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 kid's favorite song right now is "Come Back, Kid." Oh they, yeah. They constantly hear me play it because I'm laying down tracks for that. So <laughs> they're run they're running around the house singing "Come Back, Kid" all the time. That's great. I love your kids. It's really cool. Mike, yeah. did you have a you had a camp uh, camp out last night? I did. It was great. Just in the backyard. Did you um, actually sleep out there? Yeah, we slept out out in the back, and wow, it was. I think it was like fifty-five degrees, so it was a little. It was a little chilly in the backyard, but it was fun. It's. We were supposed to go camping this particular weekend, and um, we thought, well, why don't we just set up the, the tent in the backyard? And the kids loved it. You know, it's been. You know, they have good days and bad days, and you know, definitely last night and this weekend is is one of their, their better days that they've had. So it's like a quasi staycation or vacation, I should say. That's awesome. Did you guys have sleeping bags or what'd you do? Or like air mattresses or what? Sleeping bags, you, you name it. Yeah, we even, yeah. we did the whole s'mores in the backyard and, nice. and everything. Yeah. So we're going to do it again tonight. No, no coyotes came to visit? No, no coyotes, no skunks, no possums. What about, that? Lines? What about, what about the lady on the balcony behind you? Did she give you any trouble? <laughs> the one that's screaming to me in Chinese all the time? <laughs> no, not last night. No. Um, Paige Davies wants to know how uh, the internet has impacted music, both positively and, positively and negatively. That's a good question. Yeah. Good question. Steve? Well, there's, there's certainly more to sift through which i don't know if that's a positive or a negative i guess you could look at it either way but there's there's a lot more out there so it's harder to i think it's harder to cut through but but it also gives you an avenue to reach people that you'd never have so yeah again it's one of those double-edged swords like it gives you the ability to kind of get your stuff up there quickly and easily but you're yeah. also among billions you know so it's yeah and it also like it, it, it's in some ways it's almost too easy to get it up right like there used to be that right. thing where you had to get yourself to a level of, of performance capabilities that like you then sort of got everything got filtered through and so hopefully only the the best and most talented artists got right. beyond a certain point yeah. and now it's like you know, people can sit there with their computer and they can auto tune and they can edit well, and they can not even that. You look at GarageBand, and, and GarageBand has chord progressions now that they just you just it's pull crazy. Chord yeah. Yeah. You yeah, don't have it's, to have it's, any it's crazy. Yeah, nothing at all. Like you don't have to. Yeah, yeah you don't have to. It, it, it's it's so in, in that respect, in that regards, like that to me is you know not necessarily a great thing. But like, would Justin Bieber exist forty years ago? You know. Not, I'm not saying that, I'm not, I'm not saying if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just yeah. asking the question. Yeah. You know? I think so. a, a positive that comes out of it is that you have your favorite bands. You have better access to your favorite bands. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Especially during this lockdown that like, you know, Chris Martin or you name it, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, my Percy God. Like, like doing that Nirvana tribute mm -hmm. show. Like you have yeah. stuff like that yeah. you can see. Think how excited you would have been 40 years ago or almost 50 years ago now to to have, to have tuned in and seen a Led Zeppelin living room concert or a you know or 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 to chat with one of those guys in a one-on-one -on -one setting or to or to to be able to get a video request from one of them you know it's just stuff like that that's it just boggles the mind you know yeah I love watching McCready on Instagram right Ron? yeah those are cool great yeah if you guys ever get a chance to watch McCready on Instagram but just He'll just plug in his guitar in the bathroom and just start jamming. Yeah. Awesome. 
great. That's my entire feed. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but, they're all different guitar. I'm almost on following now. I'm getting like, okay, dude, I heard the guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. I got it. I got it. You're, yeah. you're a ripper. You're great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had to follow a couple of drummers like that. Yeah. Oh. Where it just well, got to be too much. Yeah, no, I follow Jimmy Page, and he's got some cool stuff on there. Where he, he posts, like, some old vintage photos, and um, that that's kind of been a favorite of mine. And I went down the rabbit hole the other day and watch the uh is it the kennedy center um oh yeah, oh yeah and they did stairway to heaven heart and heart, heart did it oh my god yeah and watch it over and over again yep it's pretty amazing um which uh supernatural guest has your favorite intro song gailed it wants to know um shepherds was always great yeah that was my favorite yeah. my favorite was pellegrino Pellegrino's that's good, that's great. good too. Yeah. And Tom and Tomo. Tomo's, and Tomo's, 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 yeah. Tomo's my favorite. Yeah. Tomo's yeah. amazing. Top three. Yeah. 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 We gotta do it. We gotta do a full out cover of, of Mama Said Knock You Out sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Be fun. Yeah. But Running with the Devil's great. They're all they're, you know, any, anything like that is phenomenal. I love those songs. Um, hey, we're supposed to remind you guys that the top uh, tipper gets a one on one. Uh, conversation with us after the show and we're also supposed to remind you to pick up one of these shirts if you haven't already are we going to sync for the world tour 2020 that never happened yeah here and it doubles as a mask that's right that's right be safe wear a mask works really well yeah <laughs> Turtle head. <laughs> because proceeds are going to, uh, we're, we're donating proceeds to uh, St. Baldrick. Baldrick. Yep. Yeah. Um, Vicky wants to know, are we doing another video like the medicated one we did earlier? Yes, we're working on it right now. I have That's to right. send in my part. Are we just waiting on me? No. We I think so, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Sent, I sent in mine, or I dropped it in, I put it in Dropbox the other day. Okay. Last week. All right, so. I need to do that. Um, if you were going to attend a convention as a fan. LGK5131, hmm. yeah. Ooh, what would you Billy? If you were going to attend a convention as a fan, what would the convention be for? Norton, you first. Um, oh, boy. Uh, cats. <laughs> the musical <laughs> or just... <laughs> It's a convention, a Mike. It can be a convention for anything. Yeah, I'd probably go to a <laughs> cats. Cats. <laughs> anything. It could be anything, Nor. Yeah, it could be anything. I said, I said cats. I said cats. That's, that's it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? All right. All right. Uh, okay. It's good. It's good stuff. Mine would be for Radiohead or Pearl Jam, I guess. Oh, for the music convention. That'd be good. My, mine would be REM, probably. I think that'd be mine. I mean, it's just going to a concert, really, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you got a VIP uh, ticket yeah. at the concert. Yeah. Come on, guys, for a convention, not a band. Convention. If you were yeah. going to a convention. Hey, man, would... listen, I got my VIP photo with Mike Mills in Vancouver with Billy. That's right. That's right. I've yeah. always wanted to go to E3, and I've never I've been. I've been to E3. E3's pretty great. Yeah. yeah. That I would I want to do that, so I want to put that on my list of things yeah. to do. E3 I've always wanted to go to Comic Con, to be honest with you. Yeah, Comic Con's amazing. Check it out. Do you know anybody, Rob? Can you get me in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it sucks that it's canceled this year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, sucks mm. that a lot of stuff's canceled this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Even the cats convention that Norton's going to go to is yep. canceled. Hey, thank thankfully I've got cats here, so you know it'll tide me over. There you go. <laughs> Which yeah, one is going to shave your head for St. Baldrick's? KB Miller wants to know. I, I I'd do it. Yeah, yeah I, I would do it too. Shave do your head. Do it too. Shave your head for St. Baldrick's. <laughs> Been there, Michael. Been there, do done that. Been there, done that. Been there. I want to do a like a mohawk. Yeah. yeah. 
Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe in six months or whenever our next convention is, maybe that's maybe I'll, I'll, I won't get a haircut and we'll, uh, we'll shave my head for St. Baldrick's. You want to have Misha do um, it? Lauren, that's a commitment. Sure. That's have a commitment. Misha do it. Misha well, will do it. You did such a great I, job on mine. Yeah. My concern is that if I shave it, then they're gonna be like, okay, we're ready for you to go shoot the rest of Supernatural. <laughs> 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 you were you were in a wig the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Drastically looks different. Hmm. SPN Obsessed wants to know if you could live in any TV show universe like Supernatural or Game of Thrones, which would you pick? Ah, uh, definitely Ooh. not Game of Thrones. No, definitely not Game I'd, of Thrones. It'd be dead so fast. Yeah. I would do something like uh, Tron or uh, something, something sci-fi, something uh, futuristic sci-fi-ish. Star I Trek. I do, I do Lost because you get to be on an island. But you're yeah, but yeah, you're but you're tormented by but you're tormented by the smoke. Yeah, just stay yeah. away. From it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was a pretty cool world. I live on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> yeah. I'd be. <laughs> I'd be token up with Mr. Brady all day long, man. It's like, what about those fucking kids? They don't fucking shut up, huh? It would just be the best. Is Mr. Brady token it up? <laughs> oh, he totally, he totally. Are you, really? you think so, Mr. They got Brady? Eight. Oh, dude. They got eight. They got eight kids. They gotta be high. It's, yeah, <laughs> there's six kids. They gotta be six high. Kids. Six kids. It's like, how can you not be high with six kids? Nah. But it just seems so peaceful. There's something yeah. about. So if, Everything you're, if you're gonna go that route, I'd go with the Partridge family for me. That's That's good. Daddy just daddy just needs five minutes, kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's always up in his room doing like the architecture stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. In yeah, office, right, right, right. In the office. Getting, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Check, yeah. check out this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I made mean, this. <laughs> But Mr. Brady, the bridge doesn't connect. Uh, <laughs> cars will just jump it, man. Use your imagination, dude. <laughs> Did Mrs. Brady work? No, she was a housewife. That means yes, Mike. She did work. Okay, come on. Don't don't <laughs> boy, Mr. Miss. Mr. Misogyny Borja <laughs> over there. Well, I think it's time for me to use my superpower right now. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, Mike, where's your where's your wife, Mike? <laughs> she she needs to hear you say that. Housewife, straight up. Back. Wow. <laughs> oh, you guys are killing me again. Uh, All right, uh, Arian uh, Vopt. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Wants to know what's our favorite moment at Rockwood, at Rockwood uh, Festival in Germany. What was our favorite moment on stage? I always just like the end of the show jams. Those are yeah. always fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When everybody comes on stage, yeah. that's that is super fun. I loved it. Just this last time was when the rules were broken and everybody got up from their chairs and then rushed the stage. That was my favorite moment. That was Amazing. great. Yeah. yeah. This year, this last year was fun. That was, yeah. uh, I, I I think, other than getting the schnitzel, you know, going to our favorite place, schnitzel, I think mm -hmm. I'm going to put the, the end song up there. Um, I mean, this is a big celebration of a lot of hard work all around. Yeah. And um, the songs are always fun to do and everyone's into yeah. it. And it's just a yeah. blast. Yeah. Um, and the after party is always fun. Yes. Yes. Um, what's your favorite? Jennifer McDonald wants to know, what's your fa favorite thing about acoustic jam meet and greets? And how do we choose what songs? Well, we really choose what songs and what people shout out at us to play. <laughs> That's usually how those set lists go. We have about, we have like two or three songs chosen that we feel like we can get through. Yeah, and sometimes you know they'll call them out, and we won't be ready, but we'll play it anyway. <laughs> Always a great, it's a great mental challenge for us. Yeah, you yeah. get to see us relearn stuff. Yeah, live. Yeah, fries up my butt wants to know. Let's hear it. Fries up my butt. How do you know when your song is done? It's time to stop revising, and 
put it yeah, down. I don't think. I, yeah, I don't I'm, think they ever really know. Yeah, you know, I always get, I always get, I always get bummed out when it's like we finish a, you know, like there's, there's, there's certainly songs where we finished them and then we play them live for six months and then I'm doing something different and I go like, God damn it, I wish I'd done that in the studio. Yeah, well, so, someone, someone described like finishing a song as like it's really never finished. You're just putting yep. it out there. Yeah, it's it's that it's that it's a snapshot of what that idea was at that mm -hmm. time. at that time exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's evolving. And then that, yeah. yeah, and then and that idea continues to evolve. It either continues to evolve, or or that idea just stays what it was and never changes. And usually, I think the best ones are the ones that continue to evolve. You know, yeah, grow. Yeah, yeah. Two Weights is a good example of one that mm -hmm. doesn't really sound like it did on the original recording anymore. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah like not at all. I feel like Wave is that way too, as well. Because I, I know I definitely play something completely different from yeah. the studio version to how we play it now. Yeah. I That's do like I think that, that recorded version, though. Yeah. 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 That's why I think splitting into seams was so much fun, is because we were able to yeah. take those songs, like, let's mm -hmm. do this. Yeah. All right, guys, we got five minutes. Five, yep. Five minutes. Um, let's see. What's the most useless talent uh, each of us have? I can I can turn my I can turn my elbow three hundred and sixty. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> do that. Please. Is no. that a talent? Is that talent? That's that's a useless. It's a useless talent. <laughs> she um, said useless. I can go like this. That's good. That's yeah. good. That is useless. Yep. Yeah. Well, I could talk to the birds. Well, I, mean, exactly. unless you're, I was going to say, unless you're trying to make friends. Talk to birds. owls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Billy, you got a useless talent? You know, I don't know. I, I'm sure I do. Um, I don't, I'm not like double jointed or anything like that. I, I can't do this. I can't yeah. do the whistle thing. I mean, that's kind of useless. Yeah. I wish I could do that. So I'm it's useless that I can't do that. Kind of oh, in the same right. order, Billy. I can't. I can't do this. I never whistle like that at all. Yeah, I don't even know why people do that. Yeah, it's a little gross. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. Especially in especially, this day and age. Especially, especially nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is good one for you, uh, Steve. Uh, Journey has a new drummer. What yes, they do? Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, it went away. Well, yeah, uh, well you you heard about yeah. oh, that whole scandal, right? Between Steve yeah, Smith oh, yeah. and well, there was yeah, Steve Smith, yeah, because Steve Smith they tried, tried to, to license tried the to name, right? <laughs> yeah, tried to steal the name, and then but then the other guy that was there before Steve Smith ran into some. Uh, but with that, but they they were two together. Yeah, I thought they did it together, right, Bill? They did, yeah. Yeah, Dean Dean Castronovo and. No, no, and not Dean Kessler, the, the, the bass player from Germany. Oh, Ross, Ross Valerie. Yeah. Ross Valerie and Steve Smith. Yeah, but you heard the, the whole story with the previous drummer was mm -hmm. was bad, 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 bad. So, yeah. Yeah, which is, supposedly he was, you know, is supposedly Arnell, it wasn't the case. But anyway. Is, is Arnell Panetta still singing with them? Yeah, I think so. I thought he got fired. Maybe. So I think the, the moral of the story is to stay away from Journey if you play drums, right? Because yeah, it's yeah. gonna it'll end badly. It's just gonna yeah. end badly. Yeah. All right. It's time for the last question, everybody. It's the last, it's the last question. question. It's the last, last question. question. It's the last question. I nailed it. All right. Here we go. Last question. <laughs> What is the last question? Last question is. Last question is. Oh, you know, Brittany, you got to take the last question. Brittany's got to take the last question. Brittany, hey, how, question. How, how about, how about the one from Tam, Tam Zellcroft there, where uh, when it's safe for us to tour again, where, where if we could choose any venue in the world, where would we choose? Oof. Any venue in the any, world? Yeah. Any, any venue in the world. I know uh, mine. Yeah, the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, that'd be yeah, mine too. I was gonna say I was gonna say Buda, I was gonna say Budokan. 
Because we can go to LA anytime. But I was going to say Utah would be good. Yeah. I would say Red Rock would be good. Ooh, uh, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Or um, Royal Albert Hall. There you go. If, oh, there you go. Or, or if we could, and, and it wasn't an issue, I'd do the Coliseum in Rome. How cool would that be? Oh, like if we yeah, open that bitch back up. Yeah. Wow, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, listen. We'd all. Loud and Swain's coming through. Yeah. I'd dress up like a gladiator. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd dress up like a tiger. <laughs> That'd be rad. I would love Rob, that. Could, Rob, Rob could be Caesar. Yeah, he did this. <laughs> and, and, and Billy and Billy could be Brutus. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Coliseum it is. Yep, there we go. Let's do it. Um, okay. Well, hey, guys, thanks for joining us. This has been really cool. Uh, we'll have to do it again. And um, we will uh, get another music video together for you soon. And um, don't forget to check out the shirts. And what else? Do we oh, and enjoy uh, Billy's uh, Stage It coming up in a... Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And yeah. Stephen Norton Stage It on what day? The a week for, oh, on Saturday, yeah. Saturday, May 30th. And, and Mike, then Bora, I, stage it? I will be doing one. I think I'm going to be doing one June sixth. So, good there stuff. You go. That will be the birthday show. And there should we go. give them a little uh, 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 what we are planning on doing, or no? We're trying mm -hmm. to do mm. a stay safe, loud and swaying. Yes. Uh, stage it where we're all in individual uh, areas. So, sometime that, in the summer. Yeah, we're working on that. So. We need to get yeah. the band together, first and foremost. Yep. So, working on that. And I'll have another uh, stage it here soon when the other guys aren't doing one because I don't want to compete. All right. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Later. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.